drones are becoming more and more common, and so are the problems associated with them. They can cause interference near airports, security concerns around crowds, and be used for illegal activity. The GAO has written a report on the issues surrounding counter-drone activities. Brian Bothwell is a director at the Government Accountability Office's Science, Technology Assessment and Analytics team. Brian, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mimi. Have drones actually caused any of the problems I just mentioned, or is this still just hypothetical? No, drones actually have caused some of the problems that you mentioned. Um, in 2019, the New York airport had shut down operations for approximately an hour because there was a purported drone in the area. Uh, drones have also been used for smuggling drugs over the border, and they have been used to attempt to uh, smuggle contraband into prison yards. And which federal agencies can legally jam drones, and under what circumstances? There are limited circumstances under which the four agencies can um, counter drones. It's the Department of Defense, the Department of Energy, Justice, and Homeland Security. So under what circumstances would they be able to do that? Um, if they're, they're protecting government sites, um, the, the, also for protecting large um, sporting events, outside sporting events, they can, they can do it for that. Um, keeping drones away from sensitive government areas, such as nuclear facilities, and, and those, are, those are the kind of circumstances under which they can use their counter drone technologies but not the transportation department. I mean, you would think that the FAA would need that authorization to keep drones away from airports. Um, yeah, that's a good observation, but they're, they're, and the FAA is doing some work in the area of counter drone re research. Um, so it's basically restricted to those four, those four agencies, but um, they also help out other agencies and they help out local law enforcement and, and state to also use these when circumstances are warranted. So who do you think should be authorized to engage in counter drone activity in the federal government as well as um, state and local governments? Well, that's a good question. That is one of the policy questions that we generated from doing this, uh, from, do, from doing this report. So for policy, policymakers to consider which additional agencies or which additional um, state or local governments may, may be allowed to use this kind of activity. Where does it make sense? And then as a follow on to that, if they do agree to expand this authority to use counter drone technologies, what, what's the proper regulatory oversight? was the proper management of that use of those counter drone technologies. So kinetic solutions like shooting a net at the drone or knocking it out of the sky is not necessarily a good solution because it can hurt people on the ground. So what's the best solution in countering drones? Well, it, the countering drones, there's, there's two categories of counter drone technologies. The first is detection. You have to you have to see it or find it before you can do something about it. So in order to detect it, there are several different ways to do it. Most uh, commonly used ones are radar or uh, radio frequency detection. So radar, you're trying to identify it, you know, it, in the air by, by getting a pulse returned off the, off the aircraft itself. For RF detection, you're looking for those signals, meaning control signals from the drone to the operator and back. They're controlling the drone. If you find those, you can then localize the drone. But the second part, second technology that you need if you actually need to mitigate that drone and keep it away from that airspace or keep it away from whatever sensitive activity is going on is called mitigation in general. And you mentioned one of the mitigation techniques, and that is to shoot a projectile at it, to shoot a laser at it, to launch a net at it, to try to capture it. Um, there are some unintended consequences potentially, potentially that come out of those kind of solutions. And like the ones you mentioned, if there are people on the ground or valuable property on the ground, you can have further damage or risk to you know, those people. 
And um, if you miss, you know, if you've got to realize what, what else is out there, what else is in that, in that line of fire that you could possibly hit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future Government Matters interviews.